Hello, Polygoner. Welcome to the Sunday Skirmish. I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming. Our Master of Ceremonies, as well as my co-caster tonight, is none other than our Observer, as well as co-caster. He is Andy Man. Oh, that's me. Gaming. What's up, everybody? I am Andy Man. Thank you for having me, Chef. This Yo, is going to be fun. No doubt, man. Well, we're getting this first game loaded on up. So, um, Andy, you want to you want to join that for us? Yeah. There we yeah, go. we're going to be getting we're going to be getting this pulled up, guys. So, in case you're wondering, Sunday Skirmish is a King of the Hill style event. We are going to have a best of seven between these two amazing players. And what's going to happen is whoever wins this best of seven. We'll get to move on to, uh, well, technically next week's event, but we won't be doing that till the 1st of January. This is kind of just a taste of what is to come from Polygon Gaming, because in the new year, we're going to be having this event every week with, you know, holiday exception. Christmas every is coming up, week. so holiday exception. Dang. Well, every weekend that we're available, we'll be yeah. posting it on Twitter and giving everyone updates. Follow us at Polygon SC2 for updates on that. But Damn. basically... Hold on one sec, let me make sure the players are ready. Players, are you ready? Oh, okay, I forgot to start it off on my new screen. Oh, I'll do it after. I'll do it after the game. Oh, it's yeah, right. yeah, man, it's your right. new screen. Basically, we'll after. basically, <laughs> after the game, before the game, whenever we're coming off the pause screen, go right there, bro, go, and go, you go, can go. take over. You are our master of ceremony. Hell yeah. All right, so apparently we're supposed to be having no match history. Oh, yep, yep. Got to hide yep, that no match history. Yep, exactly. Can't All give right. away your sexy builds that you've got for those tournaments coming up, I understand. Exactly, man. Exactly. Okay, so we've got everything set up for these players, but as we were saying, Sunday Skirmish is going to be every week. We're going to have amateur players come on, the uh, best of the North American team. They're going to be coming on. They're going to be competing for $10 of our glorious Polygon Gaming dollars, and we'll just be sending it winner take all to the winner of the event. If you win this event, you'll play next week if everyone's available, so you will have the opportunity to play multiple times, assuming you're a good enough player to play. Um, these two players definitely are. So why don't we introduce the players a little bit here, Andy? Absolutely. Uh, let's pull up the game real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I've only actually ever seen Penguin play, but he has some amazing Zerg uh, play for sure. I'm excited yeah, this... to watch and see what he brings today. Yeah, this will be a Zerg versus Terran, actually. Zerg versus Terran used to be Penguin's like middle matchup, maybe not his best. It was like 39%. It is now currently in this patch his best matchup at wow. well over fifty percent. He is kind of known for a very particularly aggressive cheesy type style. He does things like queen drops, ling drops on two base, things like that. And he is also the manager for size for me. So while All he does right. not always get the um the practice that some of his, you know, um co-workers maybe get, he mm. does have like a knowledge and understanding of all the matchups that really you only get from yeah, for sure. Uh, so disrespect is what you're what you're saying is disrespect is going to have to be on point and bring bring the hurt if he wants to stand a chance of this. Absolutely. Show disrespect no mercy. Is... <laughs> show no, show exactly. no respect. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, disrespect's actually definitely the underdog going into this. He sent me a message right before this game saying I'm going to get wrecked. But last night he was talking mad cocky shit because uh, last night he was like, yeah, Penguin's got issues with his Overlord placement. You can expect some like proxies and shit like that yeah, so yeah. i'm pretty excited about this match i think no matter what we're going to see a lot of aggression a lot well i don't even want to say chief but basically a lot of tit for tat in this game absolutely and that's really what most people like to see from Starcraft, all right? right indeed and we are here finally on battle on the boardwalk this is one of the new maps on the ladder pool i personally am a big fan of this map delay intro what oh is there a delay no, 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 no. Uh, we don't introduce the players or the map until 90 seconds into the game. Oh, well, we're already doing it for this one. <laughs> oh, okay, so Sorry. you've already got us into the StarCraft? I we should do. still be in Caster's Overlay right now. Oh, damn. My yeah, bad, yeah, we don't... my bad. You said yeah. introduce the players, and I was like, oh, it's... okay, let's uh, get in there. Fine. I thought it was... Uh, go to... <laughs> Just go to Caster's Overlay. And... Uh, well, I mean, we're here now. We're watching. We're no, watching no, no, no. Caster's now. Overlay till right. then. All right, all right. Welcome back. You get to look at our beautiful faces for one more second. Don't worry, nothing's yeah. happened, no cheese is going on. You guys will be all right. Yeah, yeah you gotta give okay. you guys a little tea. A little Just bit of a tease. Ya, teasing you there. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. I was all excited. Yeah. I'm ready for this so, uh, best of seven show match that we do have planned for today. Mm -hmm. So it Battle is... of the Boardwalk's a bit of an interesting map. It got, um... Oh, the know, title two... of the stream. Thank you, Arthosis. How do I, do you have the power to change the stream title? 
Arthesius. Oh, Arthesius. yes. Uh, how are Good you, bro? Call, yeah, Arthesius. I just realized. <laughs> Good catch, yeah. my friend. Ryan, how are you, man? Thanks for joining us. And yeah, um, we had some technical difficulties. You you know all about those, Ryan. Ryan actually used to be one of our casters as well as a manager for Polygon Game. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, Anyways, I'm, I will I'm here update just that to lend my to support it. where I can. I'm not looking to take <laughs> anyone's job. Don't worry. Oh no, it's fine. He uh he he rage quit on me a long time ago because I'm a dick. Uh, what happened? <laughs> All my fault. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, we're two minutes into this game. Let's go ahead and introduce the players because here on the top of the left hand side of Battle of the Boardwalk in the pink trunk, he is none other than David Disrespect Roundtree. And I say David because that's his dad's name and that's his account on Battle.net. Technically, it's Brian. Well, there you go. All right, his opponent in the top right as our green Zerg player. Give it up for Penguin representing. You're going to have to help me out on this one. Uh, Sidestorm Gaming. Oh, is that Sidestorm Gaming? I thought it was, but the tag is different from what I've seen for Sidestorm Gaming. Yeah, I think it's like their management tag. I'm not. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that really threw me off though. <laughs> anyway, he's nice. already got a Roach Warren down. Looks like he mm -hmm. does want to put on some early aggression for sure. Has that gold base mining as well. And here are the first. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say first Roaches, but there's already two Ravagers on the way. How do you feel about that? Dude, honestly, Roach Ravager in this current patch is very sickening because where a lot of uh, Terrans are playing greedy, the Roach Ravager allows you to punish that, and you can shell bases from further back. Since a lot of players are doing like one 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 with like cheese and stuff, the Ravager gives you a little more flexibility as opposed to like just your your basic Roach attack. Now we do see disrespect. Going ahead, moving this command center up onto the high ground. Totally ready. For Yep, he saw with the Reaper there, saw those Ravagers making their way and just pre-evacuated. Mm-hmm. Good call Can't out of him. Can't blame him there. Yep. So I think he's going to be able to hold this. Only a couple Ravagers currently making their way across. Uh, three now in total with a fourth running a little bit behind there. But they will start sieging up this Terran base. And there's one Cyclone, one Reaper to defend. Another one about to pop of each. Oh, no, that's a Marine. I'm sorry. But still. Yeah. Bunkers Either also way. here, ready to repair. Look at those SCVs. They are on point today. They're going to let the yeah, uh, supply depot burn down, but. <laughs> Disrespect knows his opponent very, very well. He knew to expect some kind of aggression out of, um, and I think all players know to expect that. And basically, he's got this set up so that the Overlord can't get the high ground uh, vision there. The Ravagers require that Overlord. So all the different myriad pieces to Penguin's puzzle. They're just not lining up right now, and Disrespect doing a great job with that. We'll see if the Speedo can get knocked down, and what uh, what Penguin's going to be able to do with that here in a moment. Yeah, there goes the Depot. Doesn't supply do supply block Disrespect. He is looking okay in that regard. Has a few more Cyclones out as well. He needs to eventually push down this ramp and push this away, though, because he needs to get that second base up and mining ASAP. He's falling oh. further and further behind as that gold base continues to mine, yeah, mine out for Penguin. Yeah, 110 The thing about it, though, is if ever this contain breaks, Coach Ravager does not have a transition um, in the mid game. So if he ever breaks out of this contain, it could be a straight up, a, a straight up pushback to Penguin's bait, where disrespect is kind of going to catch him off guard because the Cyclones destroy the, the, the Roach Ravager. The only oh, yeah. real uh, chance that Penguin has, as far as a transition goes, is the Spire. Because let's face it. Cyclones are good. They're not that great against Mutalists if you get enough of them. Um, the, the Banshees aren't going to be shooting anti-air anytime soon. Nope. So there's just not very much anti-air. So this uh, Spire, if it doesn't get scouted, could do a lot of damage, but Banshee is already on the Yeah, Banshee. Oh, almost denies the hatchery from going Ooh. down. Good attempt. Uh, cloak about halfway done as well. There's four crawlers already in production, though, so I don't I don't foresee this Banshee being very, uh, very productive. But we'll see. Actually, might get a cancel on the hatchery here. That would be a nice yeah. little delay. Yeah, and he, I mean, if he cancels it, great. But if not, it's not really that big a deal. He does have an expansion and it is a gold base. He can always take um, that, that base a little bit later and be just fine. This is going to be a very low economy series, and this is exactly what we were expecting. Sorry, everybody. Just had to turn off my mouse scroll thing there. It was making my camera jump around when I didn't want to. Forgot I had Ooh. that setting on. So it's one Banshee going to get into the gold mineral line. One queen is here to defend. Where's the cloak? Uh, I don't think a spore crawler is actually here. There's the yep. cloak. Wow, no spore crawler on the gold. That's unfortunate for Penguin. 
This Banshee gonna Re get a lot more kills than I thought it was going to originally. Really good pick up here by uh, Disrespect. Now, there are Mutalists on the field, but as long as this Banshee has energy, there's just no possibility. Uh, Overseer. Overseer's finally here to clean it up. The Mutas, there's so many of them. That, oh, it's actually gonna get a Queen on its way out, though. Nicely Ooh. played by that Banshee, getting getting the kills to the bitter end. Yeah, now the six mutas. workers killed. Now the uh, one queen killed, one Banshee killed. Not I bad. Take that trade again and again. Yeah, that's absolutely good trade for one Banshee. A uh, bunch of mutas out now. Do we have any turrets in disrespect? Yep, just now finishing up in his mm -hmm. mineral line. It's a lot of mutas though. Yeah, the timing's so crisp for both of these players right now. Yeah. Stim pack just now starting seven minutes plus one upgrade on the way. This could be so brutal. Uh, not having stem lands mutalist and you're a Terran player. How's that feel? I'm not a Terran player. <laughs> you're not a Terran player. Excuse me. Dude, Protoss for like, life. I feel like we, we played it. No, we, uh, yeah, I think I played Terran for one just because we were messing around oh. or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because you, I remember you wanted that. Terran or something. I don't know. Yeah, that might have been. <laughs> anyway, okay, Protoss for life. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Here's the engagement. Ravager's going to get caught a little off guard by the Cyclones. Cyclones doing a good job at pulling back, not getting hit by those corrosive vials. Mutalist can't engage us either. Those Stim Marines are just too scary. No Stim just yet, which is, uh... oh, I'm sorry. I thought Stim was done. It's only halfway done. No. I'm getting yeah, ahead of myself. Man. Yeah, I was going to say, no medevacs. need to be careful with that Stim, but mm -hmm. that's going to be coming up soon. Two medevacs in production as I say that. Yep, so and Combat back. Shields, of course, has not completed either, so any kind of bailing hits or even Ravager Vital Shots, all of these are super brutal against this low HP fucking tank. Now the Roach Ravager's coming in here. Good snipe here by the Mule is taking out that perfect net unit. And oh yeah, my God. disrespect engaging perhaps a little bit too early. Those ever important upgrades we were just talking about aren't even close to finished yet. Plus one attack about done, but that's about it. Now the Roach's Ravagers are going to be able to chase this down. Disrespect is going to need to get a defense mail man mounted up at home, or he is going to be in a much, of hurt. As bloated as the Roach Ravager uh, makes your nice supply shot. count, Ooh, very nice shot. As bloated as Roach Ravager makes your supply count at time, right now we have an army supply that is twice that of his opponent. That's yeah. it. Oh, nice another tank. Ooh. That always hurts the Terran losing those tanks. You rely so heavily on that stacking of the tanks, mm -hmm. getting more and more out to be able to hold whatever gets thrown your way. Will he have enough to hold this? Return. Yep. Okay, so these very narrow passageways on this map are still going to favor the tank play a little bit. There's the only one tank, but that's going to be a very... A uh, very narrow passage, a lot of big shots can go down before you actually get to the. Still, is it gonna be enough? Oh, before we get to the what? You cut out there. Before we get to the tank, sorry, guys. Tanks, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, blame the internet if you ever hear him go silent. It's not because yeah. he's meditating or anything, but here comes the attack. Roach's Ravager's gonna be able to hop on top of that one tank, one more unseaged in the background. Not gonna be able to do enough. SCVs have to get pulled. This is looking grim for disrespect in game number one. Oh, yeah, the stim is good, though. Cool. Holy hell. The stim way more powerful than I thought it would be. Able to clean that up, but how many SCVs what? did we lose? 22. You think that was the stim? Man, that was the power of SCV drill. That dude. is, yeah, that SCV. Those SCVs are worth their weight in gold minerals. I'll be honest, man. If I was fighting a roach, I'd rather, like, I'd rather have a drill than a gun. So... Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Just say it. All there's, right, so Disrespect actually holding armor. quite nicely. Gets a transfer yeah. down. SCV is now going to be reestablished. Oh, the turret's not up, though. Mule is going to be able to come in here and pick off a few workers before mm -hmm. the Marines um, get here. Yeah, Marines going to be swinging on in here. Now, the thing is, Disrespect is pulling tanks quite a bit. I see them uh, not in siege mode. And if he gets caught out of position with this just one more time, we've already seen it a couple of times, the Roach Ravagers are a unit that takes advantage of this excellent. Yeah, let's take a look at the upgrades actually real quick while these players reestablish and get their armies a little bit more maxed out. Plus, plus one, 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 one for both the players mm. is done. Yeah, we've got oh, wait, plus no, one sorry. range. Yeah, plus one plus range. Plus one uh, range, armor. plus one flying attack, plus one infantry weapons, plus one infantry armor. I assume that was one armor. It has that flying attack. That's always nice for the yeah. mutalisks. Yeah, so this is actually looking to be like a straight up road. <gasps> mutalisks not paying attention. Oh, distract not stimming just in time. Oh, that was so big. Yeah, he could have picked off those mutas. I don't know. The mutas are losing their longevity a little bit as more and more, more, and more marines pop out. Uh, still proving to be good at harassing and picking off things here and there. As we see, a medevac gonna get sniped. Nice 
pick off. That's gonna pull disrespect home, actually. Oh no, yeah, I'm sorry, it's this big uh, big roach attack in the main that's gonna pull disrespect home. I don't know how that's mm -hmm. stuck by my vision there. <laughs> yeah, man, a very, very sneaky roach play. Ravager's also here to support as well. Tank getting targeted down, SCV uh, pretty much being dominated here. Some of the roaches taking up the space on this ramp. That is going to allow the other roaches to completely dominate the infrastructure. I love how he has split his units up, and basically he knows he's going to lose these. Roach Ravager, he can spin that, throw that away all day long. Um, but he's trading for infrastructure, and that's always a good thing to take care of. Oh, yeah, those roaches getting some work done. They will eventually get cleaned up here. Nice tank, Micro. Able to keep that wounded tank from getting sniped and gunned down by the roaches. Mm-hmm. Ooh, but disrespect down is down a lot of army supply. Worker supply, not too bad, but he's taking some losses here. Yeah, and Burrow just completing this could lead some really nasty uh, tactics yeah. by Penguin, who has shown himself to already be pretty, uh, pretty good with what he's got, but going to make those units even better. I would like to see some more bases out of Penguin, though. Still only on the three. Definitely mm -hmm. could use a fourth, even just for the production at this point in the game. Yeah. Needs more creep I spread, too. More creep. I definitely see where you're coming from with that. Um, I just don't see where you'd have the resources to do it. If you did that, you would definitely have to um, cut back on some of this aggression. I don't, I don't know. know. Cut a few roaches. Cut a few roaches here there huh? yeah, before that big attack. There's, yeah. there's ways to work it in. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, 